Hi, thanks for joining me. We're going to be doing a short study on redemption and faith. We're going to be looking into the story of Rahab, also known as Rahab the prostitute. As I read about Rahab, I wondered what circumstances led her to a life of prostitution. And it would be easy to come up with some judgmental perceptions, especially when her name is followed with the words, the prostitute. But I believe calling her Rahab the prostitute was intentional. It shows us that there are no mistakes too big for God to turn our life around when we turn to him. In this story, Rahab will make one small key choice that takes her life from being condemned both spiritually and physically to actually becoming part of the family tree of Jesus. For Rahab, her world is falling apart. Things are not going as planned. What she had turned to for comfort and guidance was not coming through for her. But you're going to see that she goes from Rahab the prostitute to Rahab, a woman of great faith. She bravely acknowledges that the God of Israel is God of both heaven and earth, and she puts her faith in him to rescue her. Rahab and her family are locked up inside the walls of Jericho, waiting for a promise to be rescued. Are you waiting for a promise? What are some of the things that you have locked up that need rescuing? Ephesians 2, 8 through 10 reminds us that God saves us by his special favor when we believe. His salvation is a gift. It's not a reward. He is very intentional about the purpose that we have in his plan. I hope that you find the God of comfort and healing in the short study of Rahab. And like Rahab, our stories can end with honor when we act on faith. If you have any questions or you want to be part of the conversation, please join my private Facebook group, The Keys to Your Purpose. There is going to be a download with this lesson, uh, three questions for you to answer, followed by a place for you to write down a prayer for your faith. I hope to hear from you and hear about your story.